Welcome back, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Super Mario 64 Sapphire. All right, so in the first episode, I got most of the stars from level one, and I got one star each from levels two and four. We have not entered level three at all. Maybe we will in this episode. I'm not entirely sure, although I may focus mostly on this level at the moment. I haven't completed level one yet. I, I haven't done anything. Oh, there's a baby penguin. So, I guess I need to bring this penguin back to his mama. Oh, I I I heard a mama penguin. Oh, I see the mama penguin. How do I get up there? Oh, I guess I can just go this way. Gotta be careful of the snowmen. Thanks, bro. See you next time when I inevitably lose him again. Oh, yeah. Great reference. You know, like the fact that this penguin continuously loses this, uh, the baby penguin in every Mario 64 ROM hack. Actually, I don't think she lost her baby penguin in the, uh... In Last Impact. In fact, Last Impact did not have quite a lot of... Oh! Wait, hold on. Do you think that the Vanish Cap will help us to get these coins? I guess they don't. Then I wonder what it is for. I also realized that the theme for the... Oh, here's the shell. The theme for the Vanish Cap has not changed like it was in Star Road. Oh, this is a secret star. Oh, and the star is all the way up there. Alright, so we got... We got another star for this level. Skating for secrets. Was that the star we were supposed to get? I'll need to go back and check. Yeah, it was. <laughs> the Irresponsible Parent. That's a good name for that mission. Skating for secrets, which we have just done. Box busting for red coins. Ah, another, another coin mission. Fantastic. I wonder if we're going to encounter those enemy... Uh, where are the coins? Oh, there they are. Well, there's one. Oh, there, there, there was like more of them. Oh, well. Maybe we don't need them all. By the way, that music is incredible. I don't know if that's from another Mario game or another game series, but... Whatever it is, I like it. Alright, so... They've hidden the coins in the boxes. Alright, that's five coins. Oh, five of the red coins. Oh, here's another... Box. Oh, here's the snowman that I didn't know I could kill as a kid. Just running around them. Yeah, I don't know if I've mentioned this in my Let's Play on either Star Road, Last Impact, or Mario 64 Chaos Edition, but I didn't know that you could run around these snowmen was when I was a kid. And I, I remember that if you lose your hat in Snowman's Land, and then leave the level. When you come back, one of the snowmen has the hat on, and I was like, how do you get it back? If the snowman has it on his head, how can you get it back if you can't beat them? Well, as it turns out, you can beat them. I just didn't know how. But, you know, once I learned how, I could then get my hat back, so... Yeah, although it's kind of odd how the snowman just gets the hat while when you've left the level.
You know, like having no idea how you get it back if you don't know how to beat the snowman. Alright, so that's another star for collecting the 100 coins. Alright, so for right now, I'm not sure if this ROM is like multiple different levels or if it's just uh, four main levels plus a bonus level and plus a boss level, obviously. But based upon based upon what I know from uh, from playing this game so far, I've only been able to determine that there are 29 stars in this section of the game. But the star door says that I need to collect 30 stars. Like, is Mips going to appear at any point? So we have to go and catch him? Alright, anyway. I'm going back to the first level, which I think is an incredible level. This really looks like a level that would be in an official Mario 64 game. Or, uh, an official game in Mario, you know, like, not necessarily Super Mario 64, because there's only one official Mario 64 game. Well, I know that there's also Paper Mario, and the Mario Party games for the Nintendo 64. Not, I'm not too familiar with the Mario Party games. Anyway, what does, what does this sign say? Come back for star six, and you might find a surprise. Oh, so I need to collect all of the the stars, the other stars first before that one is open up. Well, that though well, that's kind of odd for a star to be uh, totally dedicated to just you having to get the first five stars in the level. I think that the swamps would have to be my favorite enemies of Mario 64, although they're not really enemies per se. I mean, they don't hurt you, well, unless you uh, get too close or go under them. It's a good thing I say stated because I had a feeling that I was not going to do it my first try. Oh, he ignored the button. I pressed jump for a third time and he ignored me. Alright, grab it. Oh, almost had it. Alright, okay, good, good. Alright, I got it. I think this was a, the star that we saw uh, clipping through the wall at, at the start of the first episode. Alright, Secret of the Sky. Oh, Secrets of the Sky. It said Secrets of the Sky. Wait a minute. Is there going to be a wing cap box that's going to appear on top of that stump? I'm guessing that's what it's, what it's going to be. Oh, I see something square. Yep, I was right. It is a wing cap box. Alright, here we go. I am in a dream, Rooney. I am going to get a star or my even eat a candy bar. You know, when Skellix switched out the music tracks in the in Star Road. I thought that was really genius they didn't stick with the original theme. And he just used new themes rather than sticking with the uh, theme that was there before. And I really like that. I kind of wish that Banjo Tooie had done the same thing, you know, giving the the wading boots and uh, the running shoes and the wonder feathers a new theme rather than just keeping the old theme. 
that was there from the first game. Yeah, I mean, Skellix was very genius when it came to using new music tracks. Okay, well, I've completed that first level. Hmm. I'm quite certain that Mips could show up in the, uh, the castle at some point. Or maybe a toad is going to appear. I'm not entirely sure yet. Okay, well, I guess since we didn't go into level 3 yet, we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, so this star is the submerged switch. Hmm, this kind of reminds me a bit of, uh, Treasure Trove Cove. You know, kind of like the maker of this game uh, was inspired by, uh, Treasure Trove Cove and they wanted to make a similar level, but at the same time have it be different. You know, that's kind of the thing when it comes to making customized stuff based upon the official, uh, material. Hmm, I don't think this is the star that I'm going for. But I quite like uh, these custom rolling logs. Oh no! Okay, you know what? I'm gonna get back to that one much later and actually try to find the star that the level had, had told me to. Alright, so I think that what I need to do is find uh, the metal cap somewhere. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna find it. I mean, okay, well getting back to the whole topic on creating a new level that's based upon an existing level. Oh look, there's a star in, in there. Oh boy, but I bet it's not gonna be easy to get it because I'd have to jump on those Goombas. Well, challenge accepted. I'm gonna do that. Darn it. Oh, so it, it's not just a black void. Ooh. Whoa! I'm gonna keep trying with this. I think it just takes a bit of practice. You know, just timing it right. Oh, darn it. I made it! I made it! I thought maybe I was gonna have to do a fail montage, but nope. I made it. Goomba trampolining! Too right! Okay, that was the second star. Let's see if we can try to find the first star again. You know, I kind of have been wondering, you know, uh, like, if there were- Oh, there's another star up there, but how am I supposed to get to that? Is there like a wing cap somewhere in this level? There should be a metal cap somewhere because there's that switch that's underwater and the only way to activate a switch that's underwater is if you have the metal cap. But I have no idea where the metal cap is. Ah, I figured maybe there'd be a shark in this level because... You know, I was just thinking of Snacker from Banjo-Kazooie where, where when you go into the water in Treasure Trove Cove, Snacker would very often appear and go do 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 You know, as terrifying as Snacker was when I was a kid, he uh I think that was quite clever to have some new music play. Oh, oh I see that there's a uh a ba bomb up on the top. Let me let me try to get up there. That, that was a failure. Alright, oh, I was so close! I was so close, I just jumped right over him. I know that... At least I know that it's not too far away. It's just a matter of me jumping far enough, but not too far. Oh! Uh. Yeah, that's, that, that can be quite annoying how 
you very often will either jump too far or not far enough, but never... That, oh, I jumped too far again. Yeah, either jumping too far or not far enough. And that time I jumped too far. Oh, darn it, he ignored the triple jump. I pressed the button to make him do the triple jump, but he ignored me. I'll cut to when I finally get up there. All right, this time, yes! Yes, finally! Hi, I'll bear the cannon for you. Ah, thank you very much. It's just a pain to get up here, for starters. I wonder if the star is just gonna be about having to jump up there. You know, that would be interesting if there was a star that was just dedicated to you for getting to the, uh... The, the bob -um. Oh. Okay. So, I'm gonna try to get that star. I'm pretty sure that's not the star that we're going for. Okay, there we go. Here we go! Alright! I got another... Alright, moving target. Oh, you're not kidding. Alright, that was the third star. So we got stars two and three, but we have not gotten star one. Where is that metal cap? Where is it supposed to be? Alright, the, the submerged switch. So... Star 1 is activating that switch, but the thing is, how do I activate it? I have no idea where the metal cap is. But based upon the mission, I think that there should be one. Like, is there a metal cap somewhere around here? I don't see one anywhere. Wait. Maybe one of the clans has the metal cap? Open up. Nope, that one didn't. What about this one? Metal cap? No. No. Okay, how about you? Do you have the metal cap? No. Okay, well none of the clans have the metal cap. So I'm a bit at a loss here. And also the battery on my camera is starting to flash, so I I may have to end the episode off real soon. I just hope that I can find the metal cap somewhere. Okay, let's see, it's not in here. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. Oh wait, maybe, maybe, maybe one of these clams has the, uh, the metal cap? No, that one didn't. I, have, I still have not checked these clams. Okay, that one does not. That one does not. Gotta be careful with that shark. I know he won't instantly eat me like that fish does. Okay. Oh, one more clam. I'm not gonna get my hopes up. In fact, none of these clams even had anything inside of them. At all. Gee, I'm really at a loss here. I mean, it says that the mission is to to step on the switch, but I have not found any means of doing that, because I don't know where the metal cap is supposed to be. Unless, do you even need to- wait. Oh! There it is! There it is! The metal cap is all the way over there, although how do I get to it? Alright, come on! Alright! I didn't think I was gonna do it my first go. 
Okay, now let's step on that switch and see what happens. Oh, oh wait! It makes, oh! Oh, I see what I need to do. Except I have not been able to get up there quick enough. Oh man, well at least now I know what I need to do, but I'm afraid we're out of time. So thank you so much for watching this, and at the start of the next episode, I will start off with trying to get that star right there. At least I know what I need to do now. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Super Mario 64 Sapphire. And uh, please be sure to continue watching this if you are enjoying this uh, playthrough so far. And I will catch you next time.